Well, it has been several minutes since I have done a Vero engineering knife, and that's not on purpose necessarily. I just, yeah, I show what people send in, I show what I buy, I show what I own, things like that. I have never owned a Vero engineering knife before. Comes with a nice uh, zippered pouch. You get some paperwork, you get a multi uh, microfiber cloth, not a multi-fiber, um, and a patch. Kind of cool. Um, this is a Blade Show exclusive, as you can see, by this titanium certificate of authenticity. This is from Blade Show 2024. These are brand new knives that have just been released, actually, this year. This is number 9 of 25 from the show. Here's a little bit of details about it. And we'll put that off to the side. So Guri sent this in. Gurger Paul sent this in. Um, I, it's actually pretty cool. Now, I haven't necessarily been a hater of Vero Engineering, but I'm not a super fan either, right? It, it's. I did some videos early, early on from him. One of them was Joseph's very first knife that uh, he sent me himself out of his pocket. And I had it for a long time. I just did. He just said, yeah, just hang on to it. Hang on to it. Hang on to it. Um, I did unbox a, a um, disassembly of it, if I remember. Things like that. And, and it was okay. And then I've done a few others throughout the years. So this is a multi-deployant knife, right? This one does front flip, which you guys know my thoughts on front flipping. It reverse flicks, spidey flicks, and you know my thought on that for sure. And now they thumb flip, but they don't thumb flip great. I, it's kind of odd. Okay, so when they first started, if I'm remembering correctly, there was no milling on the show side. So this looked like just a flat blade. They only had the milling on the reverse side for the Spidey Flick. That was your only way, really, when they first started. I think they might have been front flippers also. It's been a long time. I don't remember. You can go back and watch my earlier videos. I think I have a playlist I'll put in the corner. Um, but I, I know for certain this did not used to be there on this side because... Joseph liked the fact that it was a very clean and sterile blade. And he's a Spidey Flicker guy. Okay. I am absolutely not a Spidey Flicker guy, but that's okay. It works on this knife. And all in all, I think this knife is kind of cool. They are made by Best Tech. Joseph is the designer. Best Tech is the manufacturer, and they OEM and do a lot of that stuff for a lot of different people, right? And I give credit to Joseph for admitting it, making it public, and talking about it, because there are other makers that literally won't tell you where they're made. They just say, yeah, it's made overseas. And then it's up to you to try to figure it out. And there are some that I still don't know. And I, I wish they were just up front, up front and honest about it, okay? So what is the show special on this? Is this anodizing on the front? Is my understanding is all that's really different. These are out of magnet cut, titanium frame lock, titanium backspacer. Yeah, it's a titanium frame lock with a magnet cut blade but it's done really well. I don't really have too many complaints about this knife. I wish it was a thumb stud instead of the goofy thumb hole and spidey flicking, you know, uh, millings, but that's me. <laughs> okay, that's not a negative on the actual knife. The thumb opening just doesn't work as well as I would like it to because it's a little bit, I mean, there's access, but it just it's a weird access, right? If you just place your thumb here, it's not going to really work. You have to kind of turn your thumb, 
dig it in and then go. It's, it's just awkward to me to really get the right placement to use your thumb. That being said, let's talk about some specs. Four and five eighths closed. Eight and a quarter overall, 3.65 inch blade. 0 0.018 behind the edge. Runs on bearings, magna cut, as I said, 5.6 ounces. So it's not lightweight, but it's not a heavyweight. It's like a middleweight contender. Um, the pocket clip works great in the pocket. There is enough spring so that if you're having thicker jeans or thinner um, slacks, dockers, things like that, this will work fine in anything, right? Um, the hidden lanyard loop, if you will, I think is great. So yeah, all in all, kind of cool. I like Magnet Cut. It is really sharp and good, and it does work really well for cutting. Yes, you need to give it some pressure. It's not like a Rockstead, what I did a video on recently, but it works really well for cutting. No problem. Very sharp, right out of the box. Um, and you can't really hurt it. So I think it's great user. I like the blade shape very much. And it feels good in the hand when you're using it and holding it. Even when you're holding it really tight, you would almost think that this pocket clip here would be a hot spot, but it's not. I think on some of his other models, it has been a little uncomfortable, um, but not terrible. So, but in this one, you don't feel the pocket clip at all. So here it is with a Sharpie, the Spider Codelica, and um, how about the Kubi, just because it's right here. Um, there you go, the Vero Engineering Nova, a new model for 2024. Guri, thank you for sending this in. It's always a pleasure. And thank you all for watching. Check out my Vero playlist up here in the corner for the other videos I have done from Joseph at Vero Engineering.